107.5 WBLS. Non-stop day of giving. That's what it's all about. Live from the NBC Experience Store. It's Egypt. Right here with me, I have Michael Jack, the president and general manager of NBC for New York. Michael, number one, thank you oh, for inviting please. WBLS to be a part thank of this. Thank you. Are you kidding me? We love having you here. And this is your second year. It is. What difference was made in the first year? Tell us how many people you were able to feed. Uh, well, the first year we did it, we partnered with the Salvation Army and with WR Radio, as you know. We raised over $400,000. Uh, so it was not just feeding people, but services provided by the Salvation Army. And <clears throat> as with this year, it's really all about volunteerism and giving. So whether it's raising money for the Salvation Army, or in this case, City Harvest, uh, this is the time of year that we ask New Yorkers to do what they do all the time, give, but maybe give just a little. So if it's for your church, for your neighborhood uh, school, whatever it is, we want to be a part of uh, communicating that message and helping those who are most in need. And that's why we're really so grateful that you and uh, your station and Dion Livingston has agreed to join us in this uh, campaign. This time of season is always great to lend a helping hand. There's always someone that's less fortunate than you. I was telling the group of people last night, sometimes we cry over over little things and there's always somebody that, that's having it worse than we are. And I would ask each and every one of you that's listening right now to support I mean, this is a great effort, and this is a season to give back, and that's what we're doing all day today. We're giving back, and just extend, and extend, extend your hand, and you'll never really realize how much that hand will come back to you. Now, Grizz, you understand the importance of giving because you were recently the recipient of, of um, a kidney. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, f how many years, or how long were you looking for a kidney donor? Um, well, I was I was on I was on dialysis almost two years, mm -hmm. and I was looking for a kidney. You figure about a year and some change, and I had just got on the list. And um, a young man from Arizona reached out to me. Shout out to Ryan Perkins. A uh, young man from Arizona reached out to me and basically said that he was willing to give me a kidney. Someone and, you d you you did not know this guy from a can of beans. And he didn't watch the show. He didn't know me. He just he was just a young man who 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 saw somebody in need because he was researching on how he because he wanted to give a kidney to somebody mm -hmm. but he just didn't know who. So he went on the computer to do some research and then my name kept coming up on all the stuff that I was doing with the National Kidney Foundation. So he picked he picked me. So he reached out to the National Kidney Foundation. He reached out to NBC and uh, they got together and they made it happen. The reason I wanted to participate is that I found when I was in government, that with all of the spending reductions we had to make, with all the things we had to cut to keep the state from going bankrupt, we couldn't cut food programs, food for pantries, homeless shelters, daycare centers. We couldn't do it because there's so many people in need. There's so many people that aren't working right now and need help yes. that we actually expanded their budget by 28%. Uh, while I was in office and so it was something very dear to me and that's why I wanted to uh, participate with City Harvest and the non-stop day of giving. And, and you're still very very active as far as uh, need need based citywide other than food what do people need so that we can find a way if it's not food if it's not money if it's not coats what can we do because I, what I want to instill in people is that it, it shouldn't be just one day of giving we should keep in the spirit year-round where else is there a need in the city so that we can just have a call to action everybody wow, step that, up that's to the a plate great question Egypt there's so many needs that people have and I think if, if those want to give um, perhaps volunteering in some of the programs where the uh, state has had to cut funding after school programs you know that's when young people get in the worst trouble that's when you find the highest instances of teenage pregnancy teenage suicide um, drug use violence all between the hours and 3 and 7 p.m. and um, so uh, volunteering is one way another way is uh, like you said is to take your, all your old clothes and give them to you know like the Salvation Army we did an event for them last week on WOR then of course um, the whole idea of um, of canned goods maybe that sitting around you realize you're never going to use them 
Uh, take them to City Harvest. But there's always something you can do. Don't just sit there and say, hey, I can't afford it. I, I realize times are tough, and half of Americans right now are considered low income, according to the U.S. Census. I was just reading that on Twitter, believe it or not. Uh, one in two is now considered a low income family. Can you believe it? But it, it's not. if it's not money, it's something you can do. Just take a look around your house, look around your car, ask some neighbors, ask some of your coworkers, because collectively we can make a difference.